Yo, welcome back to the CB Family Gang. Holla at your boy C Record with another uh, video. So you guys already know what we are doing. Um, so this video is gonna be a little bit interesting because we do um react to more set uh you know cover videos, uh, live videos, um, and also uh, videos like music that she also produced on her own, like music videos. Um, but I, I did mention before that I did wanted to take time and know more set like even behind the music scene. Um, and I found something. This video right here it says resurrection a more set documentary um and she had a tumor she found out she had a tumor i don't know so i, de I definitely wanted to get into this video yeah i just want to give thanks to gender right here uh gender is now at 784 subscribers not like that matters but i am going to subscribe and i'm going to give my love and support um make sure you guys do the same thing too but yeah man but this is what we're doing today we're going to go ahead and tune in i kind of i kind of want to know this background information too that way like when i do listen to more music from more set you know i can like understand things a lot better but let's get into the video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel also s -s -s smash on the like button as well too but let's get into the video but right after the intro let's go before we continue you guys already know what to do uh we're just gonna you know make sure show some love to ginger appreciate you and also make sure you throw a like on that make sure you show some of that love for sure but let's get into the video let's get it let's go with her stunning voice, distinct signature vocal style, and ability to pull off world's most difficult songs to sing, Ooh. Morissette recognized Mariah worldwide King. through her talent and definitely left a footprint in Philippine music industry as one of the most definitely, definitely influential Filipino artists in today's generation. But, before she reached the status of being a famous singer in the world of Philippine entertainment industry, who is Morissette and what's her life before fame? Ooh. Chapter 1, let's go. Some people want it out, but I don't. Well, nothing it out. Morissette is a singer, songwriter, actress, and producer. Yeah, how old was she? She was killing that. Nothing it out. Morissette is a Filipino singer, songwriter, actress, and producer. But before these titles, Morissette began as a little dreamer. She was born and raised in Minglanlia, Cebu, Philippines to a musically inclined family. Mm. His father used to be a lead vocalist of local rock band while her other relatives loves to play instruments. Mm. A little fun fact, her full name is Johan Morissette Amon. Mm. She was named after Johann Sebastian Bach and Alanis Morissette. I didn't, see, I didn't know that. That's why these videos are so important to watch. Like, bro, I didn't know that. That's lit. Johan Morissette Amon. She was named after Johann Sebastian Bach and Alanis Morissette. So should I start calling her Johan? Should I start calling her Johan? I kind of like that. Morissette, cool too. I like Morissette, but Johan, I slit. <laughs> At a young age, Morissette stand as a breadwinner of her family. Ooh. She joined a lot of singing competition in malls and radio stations in their province. Her journey is not easy at a young age because she needed to study and at the same time, to sing, to achieve her dreams to be a professional singer. Her first TV appearance was when she joined Little Big Star Cebu but sadly she lose from the said TV competition. It's okay. Another fun fact, Morissette is a Rubik's Cube genius. She can easily solve Rubik's Cube in just one minute. Didn't know that. Ding. Okay. Competition? Oh my god. What can she not do? She can dance too, right? At the age of 11, Morissette and her family found out that she had a serious illness. Because of the fear of losing a beautiful voice at a very young age, Morissette advised to undergo a surgery. In one interview, she said, There was a time when I was 11 years old, we found out that I have a tumor. Here, it was a submandibular tumor, and we didn't know if it was because of my singing or heredity. So, 11 years old is really young. Um, my, my little brother... Uh my little, my youngest brother, I should say, I have six, I have six siblings, but my youngest brother had had a tumor. Um, definitely one of, uh, definitely one of the scariest moments of my life for sure. And I, I didn't even have the tumor, but just being around and going to the hospitals and stuff like that, and just seeing my brother's face, like that was definitely scary because I couldn't help him. It was one of those moments, you know, like it's one of those moments, like you want to do everything you can to help and make sure he feels better. But we're talking about a tumor, like that's different level type of help you know what i'm saying so like i definitely i definitely bro clicked on this video because i could definitely relate as well too 
and I don't know if anybody else is going through stuff out there as well too that has a family member or even yourself having a tumor um but I will be praying for you as well and definitely we just got to make sure we're there for each other on God because like this stuff you can't plan for this stuff you don't plan for it just naturally happens you know it's just one of those things in this world that we don't understand but I mean let's let's continue in the movie I just wanted to point that out just to let you guys know you're not alone if you know you guys been through this too but let's get it military at first we thought that it was a cyst but through several checkup we found out that it was a tumor hmm look at her such a good attitude <laughs> chapter three a sunshine after she recovered from her dark days, Morissette continued to join singing competition. In 2010, at the age of 14, Morissette, her mom, and her brother flew to Manila try to reach her dreams in a busy city. Mm. She joined TV5 Talent to Dong Pinoy where she sang another Alicia Keys piece. Mm. She also auditioned on TV5 Star Factor and she became a finalist from the said national singing contest but- Alicia Keys, what song was it? I love Alicia Keys. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of mad they didn't mention the song name. I was Audition on TV5 Star Factor and she became a finalist from the said national singing contest, but sadly the door closed to her. Despite of all frustration, the gloomy sky began to shine. Morissette had her first project as a singer when she was 14 years old. Ben Patton and Jay Muller, an American songwriter and producer, worked with Morissette. They write an album with 14 songs for Morissette and record it however they were never officially released. Mm. The album is composed of ballad and upbeat pop songs written in English. In 2012, TV5 offered Morissette- She looks the same being 14. She has not like aged at all. Oh God, she didn't. Like, she looks the same. That to sing the official soundtrack of one of their show. And also she became part of TV5 Network. She first appeared in the TV comedy show as an actress. Oh! In the same year, she became part of Repertory Philippines Disney's Camp Rock, the musical oh. she cast as Michi Torres which was portrayed by Demi Lovato on the movie. What? She invest her time in theater as a new actress in the following months until... I didn't know! I didn't! I didn't know that! No way! No way! That's my childhood. That's how I grew up. Camp Rock. I mean, that was a little bit, a little bit later, later, later. But I mean, I, mean, I throw it in there. I throw it in the basket. That was pretty much the same era. era. I said, "Aura." I'm an era. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's crazy. The Philippines debut its first season of The Voice Philippines. Morissette auditioned from the said singing competition, and luckily she became Team Sarah. Mm. Morissette became a semi-finalist, but sadly, the door closed for her. Morissette said. There's a it's point okay. that I don't want to sing anymore because these doors kept closing. I really want to go back to Cebu to pursue study and I don't want to listen and sing that song again. Mm. Morissette was talking about the song, Who You Are, by Jessie J. She don't want to listen and sing that song again because she lose the competition when she sing it. After a mm. month, Morissette instantly became part of ABS-CBN. She became part of ABS-CBN's Sunday afternoon show, That's ASAP what? in January 2014 and was introduced as one of the homegrown divas, which ultimately became ASAP's Beer at Queens. After she moved on from the Voice of the Philippines competition, Morissette planned to attend Jessie J concert live in Manila and luckily she got a chance to interview Jessie J arranged by her manager. Hmm. Morissette and her mom are supposed to watch the concert but luckily she invited by Jessie J to perform with her on stage because she mentioned that she's from the Voice and she sang a Jessie J song. Numbers of doors opened for her after their duet, Morissette was invited to perform on different local events, she had a mall shows and also she had the chance to interpret the song, A King Khan Alang, written by Kiko Salazar. Ooh, it yeah, was part yeah, of yeah. Himig Handog 2014 P-Pop Love Song, a songwriting competition in the country. She became a recording artist of Star Music in early 2014 and released her first album, entitled, Morissette, in March 2015. Her lead single, D Mapaliwanig, became the official theme song of, My Lovely Girl, a Korean drama series aired on ABS-CBN on 2015. Nice. In 2017, Morissette was awarded gold and platinum certifications by the Philippine Association of the Record Industry denoting 15,000 album equivalent units or three times platinum during Morissette's Let's 21st go. birthday performance on ASAP. Now, her debut album remains the third most streamed studio album of all time by a Let's female go. OPM artist on... Bro, that's what you want too, and especially when you're making an album. You want your music to go places. You don't want it to just sit there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to promote it, and that's good. It was on a television show. That's good. That's good. And that's that's such a blessing for Marissa. She definitely deserves it. Let's go. Spotify. 
On the same year, Morissette chose to represent the Philippines Ooh, in Asia Song Festival 2017 held in South Korea where she met international star, Zara Larson. Is that a bird or a kid? What was it? Ooh. After her outstanding performance on international stage, uh, Morissette tagged high. as Asia's Phoenix by her fans and medias. Morissette reacts being called as Phoenix in an interview. Morissette said, I personally relate to a bird Phoenix because my journey is just like what Phoenix bird symbolizes. Mm. Morissette was supposed to sign a contract in Capitol Records in Hollywood and worked with American record producer Red Lawrence, yeah. the former producer of Mariah Carey, Spice Girls, and Kelly Clarkson but due to a bad circumstances, the deal hold up until now. After the news about Morissette and Capitol Records, the ABS-CBN did her dirty. The TV station unprioritized her following the end of contract between Morissette and ABS-CBN star music. In mid-2018, few shows got cancelled because Morissette struggled to maintain her health. She lost her voice due to hectic schedules. Many fans believe that her manager abused her for the sake of money. However over the years, Morissette's career continuously rolls, opportunities came to her because of her charisma, talent and hardship. Morissette represents her country in international scene multiple times, she worked with Grammy and AMA award-winning singer-songwriter Michael Bolton as host and mentor, collaborate with English singer, Ben Adams and she also met and noticed by several international stars like Will Smith, Little Ooh, Mix, yeah, yeah. Jennifer Hudson, K-pop Group 17, mm -hmm. The Viking Star, Catherine Winnick, Jojo, Anne-Marie, mm. Jason Derulo and Let's many more. Jason. Out of 39 nominations of Morissette on Wish Music Awards history, Beautiful. Morissette begged 35 wins and became the first Hall of Famer in Wish Music Award history. Apart from that, Morissette was nominated and won awards from several big music awards in the country. She also worked with Disney and immediately became the second Filipino artist to have an original Disney song. Love it. In her new era, Morissette released an EP titled, Signature, and start to write and produced her own songs based on her autobiography. Surprisingly without big promotions, Morissette holds the record for the highest positions achieved by an OPM artist on iTunes US. I see Japan. Top 100 album chart in 2021 peaking at number 30 under all genres. Mm. Also as of 2021, Morissette's debut album entitled, Morissette became one of the most streamed OPM album. Surprisingly, the media went crazy after Morissette announced to her social media that she is married to her longtime boyfriend, Dave Lamar. She is married in June 2021 but they disclosed it in public in 2022 following the release of her EP together with her husband. Oh, that's this so This 2023, nice. Morissette is definitely going back to her roots, she's going to be a lead actress from her upcoming first film ever entitled, Song Whoa. of the Fireflies, together with the most talented Filipino actors. The film is going to be the entry on Metro Manila Film Festival to be available in December 25th. Today, Morissette is definitely working something big and always ready to surprise her fans anytime. Yeah, let's go. In fact, she is going to release another album anytime in 2024 including the Alatap Tap, the theme song from her upcoming film. That's beautiful. That's, that's nice. Sneak peek. Please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. This is really good. This is really good. Look at me. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, this is really good. Uh, and it's really nice to know more about Morissette, even, you know, behind the whole music scene, like I said earlier. Uh, this is really good. Um, I didn't know a lot of things, but I am happy that I did watch this video, and especially with you guys. I'm happy I watched it with you guys. But uh, Morissette, man, man, she's just, she just went through a lot. But I mean, like, I guess, like, a phoenix would describe like a lot about her journey like you know people kept closing the door she you know went down and then she came up and then she went down and she came up she went down she came up they go what and she made it she made it out of all that but that's bro if you want it if you want it you got to go through that you got to go through it like on god because god's gonna test you how bad you want it nigga how bad do you want it how bad do you want it? I want it bad. But <laughs> make sure you guys like the video. Also, subscribe to Ginger. Uh, show some love. But yeah, this is really good. Make sure you guys subscribe to more set, please. Um, yeah, uh, this is really good. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the video. Um, if there's any other information that you know you would like to tell me, com comment down below. I will read them. I will respond. Conversate with me. But make sure you guys also subscribe to the channel. Also, s -s 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 smash on like button as well, too. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>